The book I read is Poison by Molly Cochran. In chapter one it starts, I probably went to the only school in the country with a rule against practicing witchcraft. That wasn't really as crazy as it sounded. The Massachusetts town where I lived was sort of known for its rumored history of magical res residents. Some of it was even more haunted by witches than Salem, our famous neighbor. The story went that while the pilgrims in Salem were burning innocent women at the stake, the real witches went to Whitfield and vanished into the fog. The story is about a high school girl named Molly who is... The school holds that she's a witch. So this is a fantasy book. So if you like fantasy books, you would like this book. The, the book is about a, a girl that is trying to solve the mystery of why three of her classmates end up in a coma. And through her trying to find out what happened, she discovers that she has been given the gift of poison which turns her into a killer. While well, powerful witches stir up trouble, not only at her school, but in a world known in Avalon. And in order to get there, you have to go through a picture. The interesting thing about the story is that it not only deals with witchcraft, but it also deals with King Arthur, which Molly Cochran's books have a tendency to do. But at the, end of the, at the end of the story, she conquers her, the poison, and the three girls' lives are saved. It's a really good book for anybody that likes a mystery. It has a little bit of romance in it, because um, she has a boyfriend named Peter, and it, it w would attract anybody that likes um, fantasy and romance. Is the Naked Roommate and 107 Other Issues You Might Run Into in College by Harlan Cohen. One of the tips is relax and be yourself. The story. I was a freshman in college and knew virtually no one at my university. So I decided that the best way to fit in was to fit in with a bunch of different groups and act like them when I was around them. Well, what I didn't count on was the fact that a few people from each of the groups knew each other and started talking about me. It turned out that in the process of trying to fit in, I ended up with no friends and I didn't know who I was anymore. After that, I was just trying, just, just myself and people like me, I was just I was just myself and people liked me a lot better that way. Now I have a ton of friends and am happy with myself. I found by the myself I found in the process. Anyway. <laughs> the book this book is a very good book that explains about college. It's meant for students, parents, and also um it, school professionals, counselors, and things like that. The students that it focuses on is not only the traditional student that stays in a dorm, but also community college, um, commuter students, first generation students, Canadian students, international students, and non-traditional students. In college, there's a surprise around every corner. But that doesn't mean you can't be prepared. From sharing a bathroom with 40 strangers to sharing lecture notes, The Naked Roommate by Harlan Cohen is your behind the scenes look at everything you need to know about college but never knew you needed to know. This essential guide is packed with expert advice on everything from managing money to managing stress, plus hilarious, outrageous, and telling stories from students on over a hundred college campuses. It talks about college living, what the dorms, do's, don'ts, and dramas, lying, 
Nosy, nasty roommates. Finding friends where they're hiding. Lying. Friends today, gone tomorrow. Classes. To go or not to go? That is the question. How, how to get an A, C, or an F? Classes in wine and bowling. Dating. 13 kinds of college hookups. Long distance equals big concerns. The party scene. The punch in the fruit punch. At sex, drugs, and the truth. Money. Grants, loans, and loose change. Jobs. Want one? How to get one. Credit cards. Handle with care. The most important, there were three basic things in this book that he pointed out. The first thing was patience. That it can, don't be discouraged if you don't meet your close group of friends right away. It can take up to two semesters or even longer for you to meet the group of friends that will be lifelong friends. The second thing is that when you go to college, you need to, you need to have, Join three groups. One could be a spiritual group. Um, some suggestions are athletic groups, joining a sorority or fraternity, um, academic groups, and just whatever you're interested in, choir, drama, and as such. Um, the, the final thing is, is he suggests that you have five people that you can go to within the college community for support. People such as RAs, your advisor, counselors, spiritual people on, on um, the campus, um, and upperclassmen are suggestions. And he, he's saying if you follow these suggestions that you're going to do well at college. I highly recommend the book, The Naked Roommate, and 107 Other Issues That You Might Run Into in College by Harlan Cohen. It is a good book, and he also has a Facebook page and a web page by the same name. The book I chose was Forget Me Not by Carolee Dean. The novel, it's a novel in verse. It is about interpersonal relationships, emotional problems, and high school, high school and popularity. The story is told from separate point, viewpoints. Ellie discovers that she may have tried to kill herself because pictures of her that were not very good um, were released to everyone at the school, and she was totally humiliated. Her friend Elijah... It, from his point of view, is a friend that had attempt was recalling his own attempted suicide and tries to give Allie a reason to live and escape from the spirits that haunt their high school. It was a very I loved it because it was written in poetry, and it's probably one of the most interesting books that I have really ever read. Um, with a high rate of suicide among adolescents, I think it would it would um, be a great book. One of my best friends in in high school was gay, and he put up with a lot of harassment over the years. So I know that children deal with different kinds of situation like that. Um, the one the the phrase that I chose from the book is. Of how uh, it goes like this: of how the story ended. If I could plan our lives, it would be a tragedy. If I could, if I could pen our lives, it would be different. I give you another chance to throw away the sloppy copy and write another draft. But I don't get to write your story. I must leave that up to you. I just hope you understand. It isn't. It isn't through. The end of the story is very interesting and um, very telling. I mean, I, I did not expect the ending. So if you get the chance, 
It's a very good book. You should read Forget Me Not by Carolee Dean.